Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question check if two strings arrays are equivalent. In this question we are given two string array word 1 and word 2 and we need to return true if the two arrays represent the same string and false otherwise. A string is represented by an array if the array elements concatenated in the order forms the string. So in the first example as we are given this two values in the array if we concatenate them we get abc as a string and the same string is what we get when we concatenate all those strings in this second array as well. As the two strings are equal we return true. In the second example we see that the two strings are not equal because from the first array we get acb and from the second array we are getting abc. So we return false. Given are the constraints with the problem that the array will contain only lowercase letters. There are two hints given with the problem. The first hint states that concatenate all the strings in the first array into a single string in the given order and the same with the second array. And the second hint states that both arrays represent the same string if and only if the generated strings are the same. Now we will see two approaches to solve this problem. The first approach is by using the hint given to us. With the hint given to us we know that we need to convert the two arrays into a string and then simply compare them. So that will be a pretty short code. So let's write it down. Here we have a function make string that converts the array into a string and then at the end we just need to simply check if the two strings are equal or not. Now we define the function. We will have a string builder because the append operation or we can say the concatenation of strings is fast in string builder than in string. Let rate over the array appending the string into this and at the end simply written the string. When we run this code it gives us the right to the let's test this for a false input as well uh, make this value d so it still gives the right to the let's submit this so it got submitted successfully now the time complexity of this approach is o of max length between the two arrays and the space complexity will be o of k where k is the length of the string as we are using a string in order to hold the string formed by the arrays now how we can solve this problem without using any space? In order to do so, we need to iterate over the two arrays side by side comparing every character and then at the end if the two indexes are at the end of the two arrays then we are sure that the two arrays create the same string. So we will see how we can code this. We will reset this. Now as we know we need to have indexes for the two of the array. One pair of index will be which define which index in the array that we are checking and a second index will be which character in that string we need to check. So the index array will be int array index 1 initially be 0 and same array index 2. Now we need to have the internal indexes which will be id 1 which will be 0 and id 2. Now we need to loop till we reach the end of word 1 and word 2. So we will have a while loop for that wherein we will check if now inside this we need to first check if the character present at index id 1 of the string present at array index 1 is equals to character present as id2 of string present at array index2. So we will write that in code like this and in the same format for the second array as well. If the character are not equal then we can simply return false from here no need to continue forward. If not then we need to increment the two indexes that is id1 and id2. 
now that we have incremented it there will come a chance when we need to jump from one position of the array to other and we need to jump from one to other when we have reached the length of the string in the first which means if id1 is equals to the length of the string present at array index 1 then we have to jump so we need to first make the id1 as 0 because we will starting with 0 and then increment the index 1 same needs to be done for index 2 as well copy that as we discussed if at the end the array index 1 is equals to word 1 length that it has reached the end of the first array and also the second array then we are sure that the two strings are equal let's run all the sample test cases at once so all the test cases are successful when we submit this code so it got submitted successfully the time complexity now become o of n where n is the length of the string but the space complexity now becomes o of 1 thanks for watching the video see you in the next one